sweeties, it's Cinnamon and welcome back to a new video. Today is my 500 sub Q&A. Before I start, I want to give a- oh thank you, everybody's meeting at the town square. Perfect. Before I start, I want to give a huge thank you for everyone who's been supporting me this far. I already have a few regulars that comment. Don't worry, I see you guys. And just being able to be a part of my own small little community has been amazing. I've got lots of big things planned for the future, so having you guys here with me on this little start of a journey has been incredible. Now, to let you guys get to know me a little better, in last week's video, I asked anyone to leave any questions they'd like me to answer in the comments or over on my Instagram. So today I'll be switching between a few responses on those two platforms to let you guys know more about me. And while I answer the questions, I'm just going to be doing some errands around my island, giving my villagers some gifts, tidying things up a bit, and without any further ado, let's get on to it. So my first question is two questions from let's see, Lydia Yaw. How old are you? Of course, you don't have to answer if you're not comfortable doing so. And what is your favorite place to be in your free time? I really like that second question. It's like not when you hear very often. Um, but I'm a senior in high school this coming year. Uh, it's the first year I'm going to have a real school year in like two years. So that's going to be exciting. Um, yeah, that's my age. Um, and what is my favorite place to be in my free time? Um, probably I would say, I don't know, maybe my room. Our family also has a hammock in our backyard that's really nice like during summer evenings where it's just a little bit cooler and it feels really nice. I do really enjoy being back there at night and just listening to music. Joy Burb says, hi, hello, <laughs> and do I play any other video games slash Nintendo games? I do. I am actually a really big gamer. I have been playing video games ever since I was little. I'd play them with my brother all the time and that was one of the ways that we would bond a lot and so I really really enjoy video games. I right now most of the games that I'm playing are Nintendo games or I do have a PS4 that I play a lot and I don't have a PC I can play on because if any of you remember I record videos on my family computer and I don't put games on there but I do have a lot of games that I want to play, but I'm sad and poor, so I can't buy very many. But the main games I play right now are, I just got Luigi's Mansion, finally. I really enjoy that one. I used to play that one on the GameCube with some of my family members, and so it's kind of a blast from the past for that one. Um. I also play a lot of Animal Crossing and a lot of Stardew Valley. That one is one of my favorites to play. It's so calming. I also <laughs> I also play a lot of Minecraft, which you guys might have been able to guess just because I play Animal Crossing and I feel like a lot of people who play Animal Crossing generally also play Minecraft because they're they're not similar. They just give off similar vibes. I don't know. <laughs> But I do play a lot of Minecraft and I was actually thinking if anyone would be interested, I think recording some Minecraft videos would actually be a lot of fun. So you guys let me know how you feel about that and I will take that into consideration. I've also been really wanting to do a tour of my Stardew Valley farm at some point, but I am a little bit worried since a lot of my like popularity or a lot of the people that watch my videos they watch them because they're Animal Crossing videos so I'm a little bit worried that if I stray too far from Animal Crossing that I won't be with the same audience but 
let me know what you guys think. Kind of similar to the last question, Nick Sleeps on Instagram asked two questions. How did you discover Animal Crossing and what tips or hacks you wished you knew before playing Animal Crossing? So I knew about Animal Crossing as soon as it came out on the Switch because I had been watching just the Switch development and like their game releases very closely. Which is kind of funny because I didn't end up getting a Switch until this last November around my birthday because I didn't have the money until then. But I... So I discovered Animal Crossing. A lot of it was through YouTube actually. I watched a lot of people that I was really interested in playing Animal Crossing and I just got really in into it and I watched a lot of videos before I bought it. and. As soon as I bought my Switch, it was the first game that I bought with it. I'm really excited that I did because I have really enjoyed playing this game. And it's been so satisfying for me because I really like world building games, as you can probably tell. And Animal Crossing has just made it so calming and I can like express myself through another form because I can also make videos through it. So it's been really really nice being able to do that and then any tips and hacks I wish I knew before playing um that's a really interesting one I don't really know <laughs> I'd probably say to yo younger me which was a few months ago um try and make as many friends as you can while playing this game because Animal Crossing is so easy to make friends through, especially if you use things like Nookazon or follow any Discord servers. It's so easy to be able to make friends through this game, and so I really wish that from the get-go I'd been able to find more people that played and been able to just make more friends. <laughs> because I actually have a really hard time making friends in real life. Um, that's one reason I really like YouTube videos because I get to share things that I know other people enjoy and <laughs> I just keep on talking about that. Um, but yeah, tips for younger me of a few months ago before I was playing Animal Crossing. Make as many friends as you can. Also, be patient with yourself. I am very much a perfectionist in so many of the things that I do and it can really damage my like mental minds, my mental state, my mental mind state, I don't know. And so I would just say be, be patient with yourself because while this game is, there's so much creativity that you can use through it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Everyone sees all these islands on Instagram or YouTube that are like so so pretty but those are so hard to do and those people work so hard on them so if you aren't able to do that th as fast as you want to that is completely fine and if that's your goal you'll get there eventually. Next Saskia Scribbles asked Two questions as well. If you could visit anywhere in the world for a year, no matter sick or price, where would you go and favorite snack? Let's see, if I could visit anywhere for a year. That one's so hard. I really want to travel so many places that it's, it's hard to pick one, especially no matter anything. Maybe Ireland or Scotland. <laughs> just, just anywhere. Honestly, you could give me a place and I'd be like, cool, I will live there for a year. But we'll, we'll, say, we'll say South Korea. We'll stick with that. And then favorite snack. 
that one's also really hard because so many things are yummy but favorite snack so not like favorite meal not like favorite dessert favorite snack I would probably say that my favorite snack is, why are these so hard? I really like Kit Kat bites, like the little itty bitty Kit Kats that you can just chew on. I will inhale those forever. Um, yeah, those are really yummy. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I really like any kind of chocolate, especially dark chocolate. I don't like white chocolate. I know that's an interesting opinion because some people really like white chocolate. I do not. I do not like white chocolate. But I do enjoy dark chocolate and almost any other kind of chocolate. Have you guys had spicy chocolate? Spicy chocolate is so good. I love it. Oh, I love it. I also really like sour things. I just really like super flavorful things. So, yeah. Like this one time. And I was fine. Like it was a little bit spicy, but wasn't that spicy? So, I just really like really flavorful things. Warheads are like one of my favorite candies of all time. And so, people laugh at me because I've gotten to the point where I'm burning my tongue, like, it's a bleeding. It's really bad. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, my favorite snack is either chocolate or sour things. That's really vague, but I am honestly content with anything you're willing to give me. Spicy guacamole said, can you please burn Louie? <laughs> she's, she's an OG. Um, if any of you remember in my very first Animal Crossing video, which was a tour of my island, I talked about how much I hated Louie and how much I hate Louie. I really don't like him. <laughs> He's just... We never jived. He was one of my bikini villagers and I was really excited when I started because my other first villager was Agnes, and she she's still here, she's still real cute. I might keep her forever. I might have her move off and then get her original house back. I don't know for sure yet. But Louie was my other original villager, and I hated him so much. <laughs> he just, even back then, he didn't fit my vibe well. And I just, I just did not jive with him. If I don't jive with somebody, then we won't be friends. Plain and simple, that's the way it goes. Yeah, so maybe someday, maybe for a future milestone, I'll like crochet him and we can burn him. We can burn him together. I'll keep you updated. Theodora, 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 Theodora Roxa asked, you mentioned you like both kawaii and sort of dark witchy stuff. What is your real life aesthetic when it comes to clothes? So I really like aesthetics. I think that they can really capture how you want to feel and stuff. And I've kind of decided that I am going to wear whatever I want. So I have kind of three main aesthetics that I like to stick around and that is probably um dark emo teen <laughs> pinky princess and grandma style <laughs> uh 
Um, I'll explain them better. So, first style, Thirky Motin. Um, I, I was, I was definitely kind of an emo kid all through junior high. So, for a solid amount of time, my entire wardrobe sh ah! was only black. Um, and it's slowly taken me a while to get out of that. I still usually lean towards black when I go shopping just because it fits so many things. But, oh, a puffer fish. Anyways, um, and so I do have a lot of dark clothes that I like to stick around and I'm also trying to make it feel more chic and cool when I wear them because especially when I see what everyone else wears basically every day, which is just a t-shirt and jeans or a variation of that. I get really bored of it, so I don't want to get bored of my clothes and try and mix things up. So I do have a lot of jeans to fit my emo, like dark emo style, but I also really like Pinky Princess, <laughs> which is what I call like the kawaii pastels i also really like to wear those those make me feel like a princess and i also really like princess dresses because those are pretty and i wish i could wear them more often and i had the confidence to wear them more often but i do not but i really like wearing it at home when no one has to see me but i also this is the one i probably wear most commonly is grandma style or grandma core. I love sweaters, which probably isn't much of a surprise, but I also like wearing the long sort of floral skirts that you only see old people wear. <laughs> I also really like those and I really like that because it has a lot of neutral tones and a lot of really like it's an easy way to dress up while also feeling casual. I also like a little bit of almost every style out there. I have a Pinterest board that has so many different outfits. It's amazing. And my goal is kind of just to someday be able to look at my closet and love every single item I own. Not just like, oh yeah, this one I have because it fits and it looks okay. I want to be able to look at my wardrobe, mix and match things, and be able to feel confident and happy in whatever I wear. Because I am actually, I also really enjoy fashion a lot. I've considered making fashion videos, but that's quite a ways different from Animal Crossing. <laughs> so it'd take a while to get there. But I think that Loving your clothes and loving what you're wearing and who you are while you wear them is a really big confidence booster for so many people. And I think that it can really help a lot of people. So, I really like clothes. That's it. So, that's all the questions for today. There weren't very many, but I am very grateful to be able to share this 500 sub achievement with you guys. And if you have any more questions, you can leave them wherever and I'll find them for my next Q&A, which will probably be in a while. I've also decided, this is a little announcement, but I know what I'm going to be doing for my 1000 subs. I am going to be doing a cat reveal. So, if you guys want to see what my cat looks like, share me to your friends and we can get up to that thousand. <laughs> but, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, you can consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. But, I will see you next week. Bye bye